Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your host, King Jill. So I see a lot of people out there who are being negative because we didn't sign Carlos Carrera. So people are saying that we're going to come in second or third or that we we like the Wilpons or that or that the Mets already knew that the physical was out there and we were going to sign them. So we signed them just to, just, to, just to get some headlines. I mean... Are you guys, some of you guys listening to yourselves when you guys say these things? I mean, you guys believe in, in Scott Boris. Scott Boris says that the Mets didn't use the same doctor. I mean, the, the Mets used the same doctor. You haven't heard anything from Scott, I mean, from Steve Cohen. Why? Because Steve Cohen's not going to go up to his level and say, you know what? You know what? This is not true. I did not use the same doctor. I used my doctor. We use, and this is what our doctor said. You know, so he's not going to stoop down to um to Boris level. So, so what? We didn't get Correa. It would have been nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm a Correa fan because he's Puerto Rican. Um, but you know, if you look at it, there are other shortstop that are better than Correa. I'm talking about. You know, I like I like bias defensively better than Correa. I think if Baez would have had his bat straight, he would have been way and all around way better. Um, both defense and offensive um player than Carlos Correa. And I like Lindor. You know, Lindor Lindor's another country man of mine from Puerto Rico. But Lindor plays good defense, but his arm is not as strong as Correa or Baez. Definitely not Baez or Trey Turner, as a matter of fact. But just because we didn't sign Carlos Correa does not mean that we are not going to win the division. Anyone can win. Anyone can win the division just because Philly stacked up does not give the Philly the guarantee that they're going to win. Philly was not the favorite last year, and they went to the World Series. That's the way baseball is. The Guardians weren't even favorite to do anything, and the Guardians went into the playoffs. The Guardians made a push at the end. All right. People, the Baltimore Orioles were doing good towards the end, too. The Baltimore Orioles. Come think about that. And they got Baltimore has a good team this year. No one's talking about Baltimore. But Baltimore has a good team. Anything can happen in baseball. Just be, look, the Dodgers. Did the Dodgers make it to the World Series? No, they didn't. Did the Braves make it to the World Series? No, they didn't. You know... So stop discarding the Mets that we're going to come in this position. Let's just be, let baseball play. Let baseball play itself out. We still have months to go. It would be nice to have Carlos Correa, but don't worry about it. You know, next year we'll probably get Machado and Otani, and if we don't, we don't. I mean, I seen teams go into into the World Series with. Look at I'll give you an example. The Florida Marlins went to the World Series twice. Twice since their inception into the major leagues. Twice. As wild cards. Who do they have? Ivan Rodriguez. Dontrell Willis. Um, I think Bonilla played in one of the teams. I'm not sure. But then he had that great of a team. They said, what? Well, and they made it to the World Series. Twice. It's just baseball, guys. You know, you hit the ball. The ball goes where it's going to go. Not gonna, it's not going to guarantee you a home run. It's not going to guarantee you a double. It's not going to guarantee you this. The ball is going to go where ball is going to go. You know? That's why when people say, oh, look at this guy's great with man on bases and he hits this. Hey, to be one day a man on base and he strikes out. That's just the way baseball is. This is not basketball where you know that your lead man is going to get 30 to 40 or 25 to 30 points a game. Because basketball is a one-on-one -on -one sport. The different things, the different moves you can make to score two points here, two points there. But baseball is different. Baseball, you gotta hit that ball, and just because you hit that ball does not mean that you're gonna get. It's gonna be a guaranteed hit. It's not a guaranteed double. It's not a guaranteed triple. It's not a guaranteed home run. It's not. The ball is gonna fall where it falls, and it's up to you to make it a single, a double, a triple, whatever, whatever you can make out of it. So. You can, you, everybody can say, you know what? The Dodgers are going to win because they have this massive team. The Houston's going to win because they have this massive team. No. It's just the way that baseball is. And if you got a good pitching team, probability, the probability of you going to the playoffs are good. But behind that team, 
we had that pitching, you're going to need some bats. Plain and simple. You can't win if you don't score. You cannot win if you don't score. So we didn't get Carlos, I mean Carlos Correa. So what? We're still going to come on top. Now tell me, you guys tell me, who would you like to see in a Mets uniform starting next year or even starting right now before the trade deadline or on the trade deadline? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.